Hi guys, I'm Adam Wilborn from What Culture, joined by Phil Chambers from What Culture. The Royal Rumble 2022 premium live event has just finished, and we are here to tell you what went down on what is a fairly divisive <laughs> show. I think it's fair to say, judging by our comment section and social media. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a mixed bag, let's say. We had a laugh though. We had good fun. As always, yeah, we had a we had a great time doing it. Um, not so much for the fans at home, it seemed. Uh, let's dive straight into it. I'll run you through the entire card. Uh, the show opened with the Universal Championship match. It was Roman Reigns defending against Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins won! By a disqualification, which means, of course, the title can't change hands. Bit of an annoying one, this one, Phil, because it was actually building into quite a fun match. You know, it was last-second kickouts from Roman yeah. Reigns that a few of us, including both of us, actually bought on uh, with a stomp out of nowhere from Seth Rollins. And then, yeah, the basically Roman Reigns put Seth Rollins in a guillotine. The ref went to do the old, let's check if he's still alive, hand drop thing. And his hand just dropped on the ropes. And Roman went, oh, cool, I guess I'll just kill him then. Yeah. It's Held a bit it annoying, on. without a question, to start yeah, the show with that. Absolutely. Like, they held it on for ages and ages and ages, so, like, they really rammed it home and the crowd was booing him. He got a lot of heat from it, but to start the show with what was building up to be such a good little match, to end it that way, I think kind of annoyed people a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we must say, though, that Seth Rollins came out to the Shield oh. music, and he had the Shield riot gear on, and he was loving every second of it. And, like, the match itself was really, really good. Until it got to that yes. point. They got all their stuff in. They keep, kind of seemed like they were getting to the big hitters yeah. really, really quickly. And I guess we know why now, because they had that finished. Like I, we said at the time, you can kind of get away with it. You shouldn't have to, but you can kind of get away with it on a show where you're not paying to specifically watch the world title matches. You're probably just paying premium money yeah. for the premium live event to watch the Royal Rumble matches. Yeah. But even so, it's a bit cheeky, even if Roman did literally break a chair over Seth Rollins after the match. Yeah, absolutely. But it was a good match. Just, yeah, WWE finish. But then we moved on to the first Royal Rumble match of the night. Probably the best Royal Rumble match of the night. Yes. i go with in the women's Royal Rumble match. Uh, some slightly strange choices made in, within this match, let's say. Uh, but Sasha Banks kicked us off with number one, and then we had our very first surprise entrance straight away mm -hmm. in there with Melina, who came back, and it was good to see her back. But then, like, Sasha Banks got eliminated, like... So early. Really, a, like, a, like, a seven entrance or something like yeah. that. It was really, really early that she got eliminated, and it felt like she should have just been an Iron Woman throughout that and get loads of spots in there. They had a bunch of story... Uh, they had a, one huge storyline going into this that they have been putting a bit, well, not time, but effort into yeah. it, I guess, let's say, uh, with Aaliyah and Natalia, and they had the grand total of about 10 seconds together in the match. Like, Natalia came in and went for someone else, even though Aaliyah was stood right yeah. there, and then there's loads of moments where they just didn't even bother fighting each other. Like, loads of really strange choices made like this throughout, um, throughout the show. But, really. thankfully, who eliminated Aaliyah? Charlotte, Charlotte Flair. Yeah. Yeah, well, utterly bloody pointless. Um, in terms of other surprises, we got Cameron, the former Funkadactyl, yeah. uh, an AEW star, former AEW star. Maybe that yeah. was a forbidden Forbindal. door. Uh, appearing on the show, um, which Sonya Deville decided to target. I thought it was going to be like her and Cameron. You know, yeah. Cameron's on the pay of Sonya. Nah, she just did that. Went after her instead. Um, so okay. Um, now Naomi was eventually eliminated by Sonya Deville. Yeah. So at least they kept that kind of. But not before Going Sonya Deville was eliminated by Naomi. It's all yeah, very complicated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what was nice was the fact that they had Mickey James come out, Impact Women's Champion, with, with the, belt. the belt. And yeah. she wasn't chucked out in like two minutes. Yep, she had like a good 10, 15 minutes in. She had like a good amount of time in. Uh, she was eliminated at the end by Lita, which mm. was very nice to see, because obviously Lita, another special guest in the thing. Can um, we just get to the real star of the show, though? Yes. Not Ronda Rousey, by not the way. Not Ronda Rousey, who returned. And won the thing. We may as well get that yeah. out of the way. But that wasn't the point. Nope. The best part of this entire match was Ivory, of all people. Coming who came out. back with the right to censor music. <laughs> Cutting a promo. Look at all these lost women. God damn, it was so good. I mean, she came out, right to censor music. The alarm blaring. Came out, cutting a promo about how terrible all these women are in WWE these days. Gets in the match. Rhea Ripley gets in her face. She's still cutting a promo. Rhea Ripley, like, lifts her up. She's still cutting a promo. Rhea Ripley chucks her don't out. Don't put your hands on... She said... She said, first of all... She said, don't put your hands on me. Rhea Ripley just went... 
Oh, Rope your gun. <laughs> chucked her out. As she was falling, she was still cutting a promo. As she was lying on the floor being chucked out, she was still cutting a goddamn promo. Brilliant. And she's 60. 60. Ivory, incredible. And yeah, the absolute star of the show. Uh, we also had uh, Alicia Fawkes yeah. as a surprise appearance. Sarah Logan back yes, in WWE. And Her and Liv Fools. Morgan had a sort of nice moment that they got rid of very, very Yeah, yeah. look at, oh, look guys, it's the two, it's the, the, the Riot Squad. Thing, remember? How they can go. <laughs> um, and let's talk about number 27, Phil, because it was <sighs> it was a roller coaster for you, wasn't it? Molly Holly came out, number 27. Mighty Molly. Mighty Molly, it was a fantastic moment. She came out and then goddamn Nikki Ashton will never, ever forgive her. She'd already been chucked out, hadn't she, at this point? No, no, because no, we were waiting she, for Ronda yeah, to kill her. God damn it. She came out, she attacked her while she was doing her entrance. I will never forgive no. Nikki Ash, is what I'm getting at here. She's the worst. Yeah, she immediately yeah. got chucked out. Uh, but then subsequently, number yeah. 28 was a returning Ronda Rousey. Snap, crackle, huge bab uh, in the arena. And yeah, she just wrecked everyone. And the final two, of course, they fucking were. Uh, number 30, by the way, was Shane Baszler. Nice little moment, yeah. actually, with, with her and Ronda Rousey. Uh, but the final two, ha, Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. Not the match we want to see at WrestleMania, WWE. Just a heads up on that one. We've already seen that one. Yep. We want the one with... Well, we'll, we'll get to that when we get to the Raw Women's Championship match. But, yes, Ronda Rousey last eliminating Charlotte Flair, winning the whole thing, and melting the WrestleMania side. Oh, yeah, we forgot about that. They set a bunch of pyro off, and, uh, yeah, it set the WrestleMania sign on fire, and it started dripping down on top of the crowd, and they had to evacuate an entire section and bring the, the sign down and put it out. It was a whole thing. It's probably yeah. a little bit stupid, that. S stop. S I, 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 I get why they do it. The fear of, oh, bollocks, this guy better not win. But I don't need Charlotte Flair in the final two of a Royal Rumble for a long old time, Phil. Yeah, absolutely. And we got loads of Ronda Rousey pointing at the sign afterwards. And speaking of Ronda Rousey, according to Dave Meltzer, her WrestleMania op uh, opponent is going to be... Doodrab! Oh, no, it's not, because oh. she lost. It's going to be Becky Lynch, who obviously won the match against Doodrab. This came straight after Ronda Rousey's massive return and winning the Royal Rumble. The crowd were dead. <laughs> the crowd were dead, and they weren't helped by a match that... The, the two women tried on, they did some big stuff, and, and they did. Ricky, Becky took some rough old bumps yeah, from she Doudrop did. using her size against her. But the crowd's dead anyway, because like you say, it's just after a Royal Rumble that's just had a massive return in it. And also, who am I meant to cheer? Yeah. Am I cheering Becky because it's Becky Lynch, but then she's a heel? Or am I cheering Yeah, because she's sort of the baby face here, but she's been a heel oh. and she's kind of lost a lot recently. And yeah. she, I'm not buying she's going to win the title. Becky Lynch won with the manhandle slam off the second rope, I believe, uh, to retain the Raw Women's Championship. And hopefully we want to face the Royal Rumble winner at WrestleMania, please. Yes, please. definitely. That's the one we want. Not the sharp one. We want the Becky one. Please, right, please, let's please. Let's talk please, about yeah. the this big one. meaty man. Well, out group. comes some big meaty man. It was, of course, Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar because they were saving Beth Phoenix uh, and Edge for the main event. No, they went. Uh, <laughs> out comes Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. And they kicked each other's ass for a while. Oh, Bobby Lashley's gear, my God. White pants. Ooh. Lovely. Yeah, they kicked the crap out of each other. Um, there was like a nice... They were like, dropping each other on their heads. You know, the German like, suplex. You know, like they normally word. do a test of strength or whatever. They just locked up and didn't move for about <laughs> a minute. And I loved it. But yeah, like you said, there was a... The suplex has brought uh, Bobby Lashley first of all, and you go, yeah, okay, I'll get where this is going. Bobby Lashley's like, well, I can do that to you. Uh, especially when I drop you on your neck. Boom. And uh, Brock Lesnar's like, oh, we're playing that, are we? And yeah. <laughs> so dropped him five times on his wrecked neck and back. Wrecked him, but yeah, just a, <laughs> a real hoss battle. Um, exactly what we wanted, to be perfectly honest. Because yeah. we all kind of knew where this match was heading, Phil. Yeah, because obviously it's going to have the kind of screwy finish. So Brock Lesnar chucked him in loads and loads of German suplexes. He's hit him with an F5. Mm. He put him in the hurt lock first of all. He, oh, yeah, of course. He yeah, had yeah. him in the hurt lock. He turned into a tomato again. Yeah. Brock Lesnar's so selling it beautifully, by the way. Yeah. Bumps the referee a little bit. Yeah. But then picks uh, Bobby Lashley up and hits the referee with F5 as he hits Bobby yeah. Lashley with it. And so then. Out goes the referee. And then obviously, out comes not the Usos, but Roman Reigns himself to do his own dirty work. And he comes in, and there was a. Uh, there was spear. a bit of Superman. Spear. And then there was a moment between him and Heyman. And Roman just kind of looked at Heyman and let's hand it out his hand, and then Heyman just handed him the belt. Oh, and then, I he was going to cry for I a know. second. He, then he handed him the belt, and Roman's face was just like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> and he 
smashed Brock Lesnar with the belt and then he just chucked away the belt like it was a toy, like it was absolute nothing. Like this isn't blue, god damn get rid of it. <laughs> uh, and Bobby Lashley pins Brock Lesnar for the one, two, three and we have a new WWE Champion in Bobby Lashley it's and Heyman walks off yeah. with Roman Reigns. It's shenanigans but I'll take it if it puts the world title back around Bobby Lashley's yeah. waist and that was not the last we were going to see of Brock Lesnar. Uh, tonight. Uh, but before that, we have to have the It Couple versus the Grit Couple. Um, <laughs> what to say about this? And there was genuinely a bit where we thought the It Couple might win. There was. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> out of nowhere, like it was all just, you know, Edge beats up Miz. Beth Phoenix tries to beat up Maurice, but Maurice yeah. gets away from it all, etc., etc. She did hit Beth Phoenix with the brick. Presumably brick the brick. We never actually found out if the brick was in it, but yeah. presumed the brick was in their, their purse or whatever it is. But out of nowhere at one point, Maurice hits the French kiss and uh, Miz hits the skull crushing Milani and we're like, wait a second, are they taking this to Mania? And then Edge kicked out and then it was only going to be one way traffic. Um, they tried their best to get away from it all, the it couple. But in the end, they got hit with a double glam slam. Double spear and then a Sorry. double glam slam. And yeah, that was it. And then, I mean, it was exactly what you were going to expect yeah. from this match. It was fine, it was fun, Maurice was the best thing in it. Yes. <laughs> it's basically how this goes. Yeah, uh, right, let's get to the main event. It is the Men's Royal Rumble match. Um, I, like, there's bits of this match, I don't know whether this was better than the women's actually, because there's bits of it I'm going to remember for a long old time. Yeah. But it was kind of predictable when we got down to the final sort of five numbers yeah. because you looked at that ring at the 29, uh, 29 entrance in it and you went, well, it better be Brock. <laughs> um, AJ Styles started it out, Shinsuke Nakamura came next and Austin Theory uh, actually lasted quite a while, Austin Theory, in that match. Yeah, so Vince McMahon can be proud of him. Um, first surprise, eh, sort of a surprise, Ridge Holland. As, yeah. far, as far as I'm aware, I don't think he was announced. Uh, but let's talk about Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, film. Johnny Knoxville, who's very good fun. Uh, Sami Zayn came out just before him, and then obviously Johnny Knoxville comes out, and he had his whole crew with him, and he had his whole outfit and get up. It was absolutely fantastic. And he ran in there, and <laughs> he, he laid Sami Zayn out to start with, and then he squared off with AJ Styles. <laughs> and AJ was basically like, oh uh, yeah, come on, give me give me your best shot. Let's see what you've got. And uh, my word, did okay. he lay it in? He absolutely smashed AJ Styles with a forearm. And then AJ was like, ah, let's play that game there. I just hit him <laughs> with everything he had, basically. Did the spinny punch. <laughs> yeah, the top of him and then smacked him down. Uh, and then Montez Ford came off the top with a frog splash. Yeah. And then uh, Rich Blue Yolland was like shaping up to take him out. And Sami Zayn was like, I'm having a bit of this. Haluga Kick takes Johnny Knoxville out. Uh, really then, nice little spot. Yeah, we but. then got uh, Omos, uh, subsequently a few numbers later, later coming in. How on earth are they going to stop him? He battered everyone. He chucked a few people out. But the smartest man in the room, Chad Gable, comes out. He rallies the troops. And it took AJ Styles, Austin Theory, Rich Bull Yolland, Ricochet, Chad Gable, and Dominic Mysterio to yeah. elite, eliminate Omos. But they managed to do it. But, Phil, what happened with, with Dominic's his dad? I've got to know. Because oh. we've been looking forward to this. I've been predicting it. I mean... Uh, just been building this on like Smackdown for ages now yeah, like with it oh yeah. I'm chicken you chicken him out oh well, look at you what are you gonna do like, we're gonna get to the rumble and then uh, Dominic came out first and he was in the match for a while and then um, he got thrown out by Happy Corbin what? and then like a couple of spots later Rey Mysterio came out and then so he was chucked out by Otis so what was it? What was the point of that then? Yeah. Well, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, Rick Boogs, Mad Cat Moss, Riddle, Drew Mac. Oh, Drew McIntyre returned. Right? Yes. Let's not forget good. that. Uh, great team. He was part of the final two, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but we have to talk about the number 27 entry. Yes. Because it was one we'd sort of speculated on. But even in our wildest dreams, we couldn't have predicted how Bad Bunny did. Yes. Uh, Bad Bunny comes out and he was... Incredible, In, as usual. Give up, give up Fly, music, get yeah. into wrestling. Absolutely, flying around all over the place. He got rid of uh, Sheamus at one point, yeah. which Sheamus was not very happy about. Who was the other Dolph, one? Dolph, I think. Rid of? Yeah, Dolph. Dolph as well. Um, he helped Ray hit a 619 on Dolph, yes, I think. Yes, of course. He had loads of spots in there. He had Canadian Destroyer he did. Canadian on Destroyer. Riddle. And it was really good. After Riddle was like, oh, good work, pal. Like, he came in. Mess some people up, and you're like, okay, well, he's going to be part of Riddle. And, was like, and he was like, no, nah, bollocks, I'm trying to win this yeah. thing. 
and it no one else could get rid of Bad Bunny except for one person, and that was Brock Lesnar. He was the only person who had five different chucks him out. I know what you're thinking. Let's, but um, you know, this is WWE. We're having too much fun here. Let's temper the expectations. 28 was uh, Shane McMahon. I hate him so much. Yeah. He. I I genuinely don't understand. He he eliminated Kevin Owens. Oh, for, oh, for I forgot like, about that. And it was really easy. He just like just chucked him out, and it was like like it was nothing. And then he was having a punch good fight. See, I was going to say, good to see his striking's improved. <laughs> who was he having a punch fight? Was it AJ or was it? I can't remember who was having. Just he swinging was and missing on Riddle. Riddle. He was just missing punches constantly, and it's like it didn't even look. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't even trying to connect. It was I so hate bad. Him so much. So bad. Sweaty little man. Twenty nine was Randy Orton. He came out and got a huge bat burr for being a hometown favorite and okay. Oh, some people and yeah. had a nice moment with uh, with Riddle. I think Riddle at one point jumped off someone's back and RKO'd someone. Yes, that really didn't get good. enough attention in my opinion. Lots of people had their hopes up for Big E in this. He oh yeah, did Me. very little and then got chucked out by Riddle and Orton. Zero eliminations yeah. for him. Two for Bad Bunny, which... Oh yeah, that's a good point. Miz has been in 14 Royal Rumbles. 14 and has eliminated two people. Bad Bunny has been in one and has eliminated the same amount of people as the Miz. Oh my God, can we have a quick word, by the way, before we get to number 30, about the Kofi Kingston spot that was the dumbest that oh, they've ever created? Oh, yes, so Kofi, obviously, with the big Royal Rumble thing where he just like dives out and he gets back in a very clever way. This one was not so clever. He was on the top rope and like- He's like Kevin springing Owens, in like yeah. he's gonna do a phenomenal four on if he was AJ Styles. pushed him as hard as he could. And the idea was that he was gonna fly from the top rope and like turn around and land on his chest on the uh, like barrier between the uh, crowd and the ring. Except he didn't quite make it. Broke his feet. Slammed his sternum into the thing. His feet slammed into the floor. Unsurprisingly, and then he no desperately fault. tried to grab onto it. And they went, oh, I think he's, I think he's good, you know? <laughs> yeah, and then they had to show every, like a replay of it. It's like, did his feet touch the floor? It's like, <laughs> yes, he did, because that was a terrible, terrible spot. Like, the margin for error Unsurprisingly, is ridiculous. the one thing that Kevin Dunn didn't miss. Yes. Jesus he Christ, he's Dunn. awful! He missed so many things. He missed eliminations, he missed entrances. He missed Rick Boots did this amazing things. press slam thing and he went, yeah, yeah, time to show Seamus and Abby Corbin doing now. He did not have a good night. God, I hate, him. I hate him. Absolute him and Shane McMahon, I hate them just as much as each other. But, but the final two, we should get it down to, it was Brock Lesnar. He killed versus, everyone. Versus, he killed absolutely everyone. Everybody. Took them all out. And Brock Lesnar versus Drew McIntyre for the final two. Drew got proper in his face, like proper like talking down at him right in his face. But then Brock got him up into the F5, he walked over to the ropes and he F5'd him out of the ring. And Brock Lesnar is your 2022 Royal Rumble winner to go on to WrestleMania. Who's he gonna be? <laughs> I wonder who it's gonna be. Wait, 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 let's face it, come on. So we've got Ronda Rousey, hopefully versus Brecky Lynch and Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for your Main event. We got there eventually. Oh, right, That's the best way of saying it. Yeah. I think. I think there were there were better ways of putting this out, especially when Brock Lesnar can't even take Shane McMahon over the top rope with his first oh, clothesline. Oh god, damn you, Tubber Goo! Fool. Get over the rug, get out of the match. Sorry, he put me off. But Brock Lesnar wins. Ronda Rousey wins. Those will be the two big headlines yeah. uh, he heading to face uh, potential champions. Like you say, Charlotte Flair still SmackDown Women's Champion. Uh, Ronda, Ronda Rousey won the Rumble. I've just yeah. said that. <laughs> Becky uh, Lynch is Raw Women's Champion. Bobby Lashley WWE Champion. Roman Reigns Universal Champion. And, and yes, the Brock great Lesnar. couple of the best couple. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let us know your thoughts on everything we have discussed in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe to What Cool Dressing on either iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts from for daily wrestling podcasts. Plus, you can let us know your thoughts on Twitter at WhatCultureWWE. Watch well, there. Follow both of us. You can follow Phil Chambers at... Phil My Chambers, and you can follow Adam at... Adam Wilborn. Follow us all at WhatCultureWWE, as I said. But for now, thanks to Phil Chambers. Thank you for watching. This has been What Went Down at the Royal Rumble 2022, and we will see you soon. Goodbye.